Good news, bad news. Bad news, we may have to wait for 2019 for Game of Thrones final season. Good news, well, it's plenty of time for you to plan your finale party. I'm Sasha Pearl Raver, and this is Screen Junkies News. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, HBO programming president Casey Bloyce set the record straight on the final seasons of Game of Thrones, as well as the prequels. Oh, I'm sorry, did, did, I, did I just say prequels? What I meant to say was potential prequels, because it turns out they aren't as confirmed as everybody thought, and I'm extremely upset about it. Bloyce told EW, quote, in the press at large, everyone said there are four spinoffs, and they assume that means each one is happening and we're going to have a new Game of Thrones show per quarter. That's not what's going on. The idea is not to do four shows. The bar set by Benioff and Weiss is so high that my hope is to get one show that lives up to it, end quote. He also made a point to talk about the cinematic sp scope of the final season. I don't really have anything to say. I'm extremely excited about all this. And I needed some moral support. Thank goodness I have Mary Risk, DJ Waldridge, to talk to me about this. First of all, we did a story a couple weeks ago where like George R. R. Martin was like, it's not four, it's five. Yeah. Now it's not five, it's one. Now it's not even one. It's like, are you kidding me? So apparently, we're here for you, Sasha. Did you Did you really think they could afford five Game of Thrones? No, I thought maybe. Uh huh. No, you thought maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I mean, I think everyone was sort of expecting that you weren't going to get five different series that went on for eight seasons, but I could see yeah, like, like a, a standoff an HBO spin -off. special yeah, that like goes an, for eight episodes. Exactly. Like story of the Children of the Forest. Sure, like I would watch that for one season. Come on. Okay, all right. We, all right. She, yeah, Mary yeah, Rose right. had a brilliant idea for an interstitial cooking show. Oh, yeah. That literally could have just been like a little segment. Come on, hit it with it. Oh, the hot pie, the hot pie cooking show, obviously. The great I'd watch bacon it. Cooking right? Yeah. And that's great. just like, that's a four yeah. minute interstitial. Four that could have been show number five. What would you be your interstitial with Podrick? What would his interstitial oh, oh, Padre. Oh, I feel wow. like that wouldn't be an appropriate one to air. It's on HBO. It's not, listen, it's not TV, it's HBO. <laughs> That's yeah, so true. even still. So part of this same article that just broke my poor heart into five <sighs> gajillion pieces because we know that we only have to wait until July to get season seven. Season eight, though, which is only going to be six episodes, 2019? 2019. Are you kidding me? That is brutal. And they he went on and on, Mr. Bloyce, to talk about, it's going to be so cinematic. It's basically sure. a one-hour movie. Production well, we, value. We already I knew get that. It. When you see Come the battles on. in season seven, and when I imagine season eight, it's a big, big show. We've done a lot <laughs> in this show that combines this, the complex character we love with a huge cinematic scope. Blah, blah, blah. Do it faster. You always well, do. Listen, we're still going to get it before we get the last book. Because we're never going to get the last book. It's just not going to happen. Well, then the real question, though, is, is when will we get the the, the the next to last book before we get the, the show? I don't probably know not. Probably, this probably, is probably, not. probably not. We're probably not going to get anything. The final Sorry. season hasn't even been written yet. They don't have a production schedule. Nothing is going. I mean, to be fair, okay, yes, there is a massive amount of work still to be done on this season. And I get that they want to do it properly and that they have to have time for post-production and yeah, animating dragons takes uh. time. I get it. It has to be good. But like, I want to know. I want what, to know, Daddy. What about this? Know. What if it's taking another year because George R. R. Martin has hired the writing staff to help him finish the last two books? Shots oh. fired, dude. Oh, God, get all of his I ass. like this. Get Let's make all this of Wait, why is that a bad thing? You get your books. You'll get the book. I mean, I, I would... I, yeah, I, I don't think that's what's happening. I don't happening. think that's happening. <laughs> I don't think that's what's going on. I do think, okay, as I temper my anger, as yes. I temper my sorrow... Mm -hmm. It is okay for them to take their time, like you're saying, because we it's want better. them to deliver with the brilliance that they always deliver with. I just find it odd because they do typically shoot a number, like a 10 or a 13 episode, like, and they know how to do that production schedule, but maybe it means we're getting so much. We're getting so much and the battles are so huge and it's just gonna be the Battle of the Bastards times six. And it's going to be so much that, like animating White Walkers, very difficult. I mean, no. the problem is I almost trust them. Almost. Almost. I'm in a place where literally, like, I I respect that if they think this is the amount of time that they're going to need to make this season what we all want it to be, 
yeah, they're probably right. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like they have so many resources and same sort of thing. They've been doing this yeah. with more characters and more content faster in previous seasons. Yeah, it, it makes me wonder if it's something maybe more in post-production that they're gonna need that time or if they're having trouble with, with writing and scripts and schedules. That's like, what, the thing is, is if it was written, I would be less nervous. The fact that they haven't written it yet. Yeah. Because if you told me, okay, it's 2019, 2019 is 12 months. That yeah. could be January. <laughs> that could be February. Wait, see, here's the thing. Or it can be October, and then I'm. Well, we're, we're all Game of Thrones fans here, all right. I did not read the books because I didn't want to spoil the show. That's how much I like the show. However, <laughs> they, they they had a lot of help in the earlier seasons because they had the source material to go off of. Mm -hmm. uh, as they distanced themselves from the source material, and they had less time to come up with new things, the quality was not always as good as the initial seasons. So perhaps giving themselves extra time to make sure because this is a big show. You don't want to loss. You don't want to. You don't want a final season. That everybody universally just loathes. You know what I mean? You want to stick the landing. Point is, you want to stick the landing. Hold on. Hold the phone. Wait a second. Yeah. Two things. Yes. I don't want to butt actually you, but I'm butt actuallying you. Number oh. one, the final season of Lost, I enjoyed tremendously. I, listen, I didn't Lost. I'm, I'm, I'm going based off oh, the reaction well, I've heard. So see, this is not my hearsay. personal opinion. Heresy oh. and hearsay. Okay, fair enough. Number two, fair enough. I would dare say that there were episodes of probably season four, which were so tedious that I almost dropped out for a second. I was like, I'm sick of them walking the trudging. Get somewhere. Yes, we've the discussed trudging, this. The trudging. Man. They Four do. five are rough. They move slowly. Slowly. And, and the big moments do pay off. Honestly, I will say, like, the, the show is well balanced in pace, but it is moving slowly. And we know already from, from you know, all sorts of things from the cast and, and all of this that season seven and season eight don't move slowly. No, yeah. they move really quickly. And when you're doing something quickly, you're probably going to do it you have less wiggle room. You have less of a scene where like, if you need to cut down this trudging scene or elongate this trudging scene, you can probably do that in edits. I think when you're shooting things quickly and you're being really specific with what you want from your writing, that's probably why it's taking them more time. They're trying to not cram a story into six episodes, but they're trying to 100% tell I think a smaller piece of story in a more elaborate way without feeling like you're trudging through a war. Okay, now here's the other thing that made me very nervous about this whole thing. With the prequel, huh, ugh, no ass, we know for sure that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, who've been responsible for this entire thing for 12 years, they have overseen Game of Thrones in every aspect for 12 years. Blois said, like, they haven't gone off and shot other movies. They haven't done anything else. They, they didn't set up other TV shows. They only did this, and they don't even want their name on the prequel. Whatever I goes forward, that. which I think is interesting. We were talking before the show. Um, on True Detective Season 2, mm -hmm. both Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey are credited as producers, even yes. though they weren't involved. Yeah. Not at and all. I wonder if with season two, had they known how it would turn out if they maybe would have taken their name off of the project. Yeah. And David Benioff and D.B. Weiss were like, we feel like it sets up too much of an expectation just having our names on it. They, they don't, don't even want, want that, that even though they created, money. even though they created the world, they're like, we don't want it, go well, do your own thing. But I hate that they're not gonna be involved in this. They created the cinematic world for sure, but they didn't create the world of Westeros. And since True. we know those prequels aren't necessarily gonna be set within the confines of what we've seen on that show, we know they're not gonna be. We know they aren't these characters and they aren't these times. So the world that they specifically created, their cinematic piece of George R. R. Martin's universe, I think that they probably have faith that it's gonna stand on its own, that no one's gonna come in and mess with their story and tell a hot pie spinoff. That's mm -hmm. a very positive take on it. I am a little bit worried because the best prequel I've ever seen, especially on TV, has to be Better Call Saul. And that has direct involvement from sure. the guy that created yeah. Saul and Vince Gilligan who created Breaking Bad. Right. And you'd like to think that that pedigree is what allowed, and, and it was also an opportunity for them to really go crazy with that show, do stuff that they couldn't have done with Breaking Bad because of the expectations. And so it would it would be nice if these but guys felt the that way, but that, they need I think app. that's a creator. That's the side. They need an app. Well, and that's it's a creator too that you're talking about with Better Call Saul. That they had a, a, a passion for that, a fire and a yeah. drive. And HBO didn't have you know DB and Dan saying we want to make more Game of Thrones. Right. Yeah. They were like, we're done. And HBO's like, you know what? We own this. Like we go and continue. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if you want to be attached, you can. If you don't want to be attached, like we're still going to continue. Yeah. And it's like. I get it. Like, I actually have a lot of respect for them sort of stepping away from the project and just having faith that A, the network's not going to continue with something that is terrible, and B, that the network's not going to continue messing with their world. Totally. Mm. Absolutely. Hmm. I just personally wish. Upon a star. It would be great if they had the fire for something. It would be great if it was their idea and totally. their prequel. No, it's not even that. I just. 
I wish that Game of Thrones could go forever because I just love it so much. But what and if I'm, it sucked? It's what if never going to suck. You can always even when they were yeah. trying. Yeah. I have. I've watched <laughs> it twice already. And I'm going back for more. And I, I will wait. And I will be excited for the prequels. Yes. But my heart is a little broken. And I want to know, is your heart a little broken too? Let us know in the comments below. You can tweet us at SJ News. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can click here because we're always here for you. More Screen Junkies news. See you soon.